Everything seemed to be going okay for the venturer and her crew, but back on Kerbin, that wasn't the case. The three nations had sort of rushed this whole mission from beginning to end. There were many who wanted to send the venturer out there first without any Kerbinauts on board to see if the ship would even work. But with the rise of a hostile new space power, the pressure was on for the three nations to firmly establish their presence in space. Sadly though, the three nations would be reminded that space travel is not that easy. Uh, mission control, I'm getting some weird feedback on the remote controls of the lander. Please confirm. Uh, that's a negative venture. We don't see anything down here. Could you describe the malfunction? Milford, get us out of here. Venture control. Venture control. The, the controls are jammed. The controls are jammed in the pitch up position. Do you read? Control the venture. Say again? The lander is Mustang. We've lost all control. We're moving the ship out of the way. Copy that venture. We'll take it from here. Cut all ties with it and get to a safe distance. The URA Minmus Lander had suffered a critical malfunction. It had suffered an electrical short that caused the controls to get stuck in the pitch up position. Thankfully though, Mission Control had stopped the spinning, but not after the G-forces had caused tremendous stress on the little lander, damaging it irreversibly. It seemed as if the Venturer would have to be mothballed until another lander could be built, tested, and launched. But that's the funny thing about joint space missions. Not one country has to be solely responsible for any problems in space. All the countries can pitch in their time and resources in fixing the problem. Luckily, the Yulrite Kingdom's coalition had already begun working on their Minmus spacecraft and its lander was already finished. Because the two crafts were very similar in design, the decision was made to launch the UKC lander and have it dock with the Venturer to save the Minmus mission. The UKC lander had docked successfully with the Venturer. Both ships and the men and women on board them were ready to sail into the pages of history. Many years ago, George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which it has ever embarked. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're in the hands of Sir Isaac Newton. Best get comfortable. Uh, don't you mean Sir Isaac Newton Kerman? Yeah, well, uh, I figured that was a given. You know, I was thinking, you ever find it strange that everyone's last name is Kerman? Uh, because we're Kerbals? After almost a week in space, the crew of the Venturer finally passed through the shadow of Minmus. Scientists down here have 
whole bunch of stuff for you to do tomorrow. We'll see you on the flip side. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Ooh, looks like mint ice cream. I'm hungry. Oh, Does anyone have any oh, ice cream up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Move your big fat eyeball. Oh, so sorry. Would you two quit playing around and get the lander ready? I'm trying to get a look here. Now. Uh... As the lander was being prepped for departure, the two probes that had been launched to Minmus ahead of time were being sent to land in areas where the Venturer would orbit across. This would allow the lander to come down directly above them, instead of having to waste fuel flying around to find them. There was some concern, however, about how much fuel the Venturer had left. The original lander had enough Delta V to find both probes and bring the science back to Minmus, but with the UKC lander, they had gone for a more economic approach, and therefore didn't have as much Delta V as the original one. So depending on how much fuel the lander had after redocking with the Venturer would depend whether or not they would attempt a second landing at the second probe. Only time would tell. Approaching the probe. 50 meters out. 10 meters. 3, 2, 1. Give this now. The Luna has landed. Flags, didn't you? What's the matter? Luckily, Mission Control wasn't too upset. Future missions would guarantee that the rest of the flags would end up on Minmus, so they were let off with a little slap on the wrist. But they knew they had to get over their mistake. There was science to be had and work to be done. However, as they were wrapping up for the day, Maddie Kerman had an idea. Maddie's idea of getting a sample from far away proved successful, even though she tripped up a little bit. There was still so much to do and so many places to explore, but for now, it was time to call it a day. Okay, Belford, I'm coming inside now. Uh, copy that, you're cleared. 